This is the Luo Yang that you have probably never seen before. We at People's Daily Online are going to take you on an incredible journey through the city that transcends history, culture, and technology in central China's Hunan province. And of course, we won't be missing out on the delicious local food. Tales of the City begins now. How do you kick off a cold winter morning full of energy and passion for the day's work that lies ahead? A hot bowl of soup for breakfast might just be the answer. Luoyang locals are food connoisseurs when it comes to a variety of different soups, which exemplifies the most striking feature of Luoyang cuisine. I'm at a restaurant here in Luoyang. It's been open for nearly 170 years and it's famous for its soup. I'm with a friend. We're going to try some and see what we like. What kind is your favorite? I like mutton soup and chofu soup, but my favorite is beef soup. Beef soup. Wow, it's so warm. A bowl of soup can give you full energy, especially in the cold winter. Mm -hmm. So when two friends in Luoyang, they meet each other and they will, the way that they greet each other is, have you drunk soup today? Really? Yeah, it That's is such a true. good way to start the morning. It looks like it's going to be spicy, but it's really not. It's very clear and very gentle. I can understand why people can take it in the morning to eat. Well, welcome to Luoyang. And my ancestor found this business in Qing Dynasty, and now I'm running this business. I'm very proud and honored to have a chance to make this meal to our Luoyang people, and hopefully uh, one day we can make this meal to the world. One of the cradles of Chinese civilization, Luoyang was the ancient capital of 13 dynasties, including the first, Xia, which started right here. I've come to visit some of the finest Chinese Buddhist art relics. Lomen Grottoes has over 2,300 grottoes, over 110,000 Buddhist images and figures, over 80 dagobas, and 2,800 inscribed tablets, created over 1,000 years ago between the Northern Wei Dynasty and Song Dynasty. The scenic area also introduced night tour programs in April to meet tourist needs. So stay for the night lights that will add more splendor to the historic wonder. Let's wind the clock back to daylight. In recent years, Luoyang has dramatically boosted its cultural industry, intending to become the oriental capital of museums, with a total of 100 museums planned to be open for tourists and museum goers by the end of 2020. This one particular museum, however, features a unique variety of items on display. Peony porcelain, a fine art that reflects the integration of peony imagery with Chinese porcelain culture. I spoke with the museum's curator, Li Shui Wu, to find out how he uses ancient porcelain making techniques to create peony themed decorations with modern designs. Can you tell me about the process of peony porcelain art and its special features? Dietzhang 
，洛阳也会因牡丹而闻名天下。Luoyang's 3,000 years of history has cultivated a craftsman spirit in its hardworking and innovative people. In the modern era, the city has also become a fertile land for manufacturing and machinery, such as the production of tractors. Founded in 1955, the YTO Group was one of 156 key projects listed in the country's first five-year plan. From 1953 to 1957, in 1958, the first wholly Chinese-made tractor, Dongfang Hong, rolled off of the production line of YTO. To find out what's behind the craftsman spirit of Luoyang locals, I had a chat with Zhang Jingmei, a professional quality control technician who has been working on the production line at the tractor manufacturer for 22 years. 我测量的零部件在拖拉机的属于核心零部件，嗯，如果它一旦质量达不到要求，就会对整车造成质量事故，所以就在质量保证的方面，这个测量度尤其重要。从小我爸们开拖拉机，在地里感觉着很威风呀，就像一头那个红色的铁牛一样在地里穿梭。现在我们的装配线是。亚洲最先进的装配线，过去一个月才几台车，现在一天都能达到二百台，然后一个月最高的时候就是五六千台车。看着我们的拖拉机从小功率发展到大功率，从过去的机械换挡，现在是动力换挡，甚至说自动驾驶。我国拖拉机的技术变革创新，也印证了中国农业的飞速发展。The remarkable industrial transformation and upgrade. Could it possibly have been achieved without countless selfless personal dedications? My husband also works at Dafoe Company, so when he's busy, he can't take care of both of them. So the children and the family are all supported by the elders. I feel like it's still very hard to get the children to take care of them. But if you want to do your own work, you have to give them a certain time and effort. This is a very difficult situation. 没办法两全的，所以说我只有现在先把自己的工作干好，然后到时候也能给孩子立个榜样，孩子也能以我为荣吧。Thanks to freight train services, the tractors are transported in standard shipping containers and exported to European and Asian countries like Russia, Ukraine, and Pakistan. This is our new installed five-wheel electric tractor engine. Its new technology has two features. One is the self-driving mode. Five-wheel electric power, which is the so-called lithium battery. Then it has a very important feature in the electric mode. Every tractor has a lithium battery to provide lithium energy to the tractor. Each tractor can adjust its own direction. This way, the control strategy will be much more efficient. 转弯半径会比传统的拖拉机要更小。洛阳是一个具备深厚历史底蕴和呃工业积累的一个城市，也是我们新中国第一台拖拉机诞生的地方。结合我们现在新技术，比如说五 G 技术、网联技术、呃无人驾驶技术。Why we choose a city of Luoyang? Luoyang has always been a very important industrial base in Middle China. It has a lot of research institutes and a lot of large factories. In whole country, there is a wave of upgrading of the manufacturing industry right now. So we believe our technologies can do something for the upgrading. Now we are going to enter the Fifth Grade. We will continue to study the old-fashioned workers' spirit, combining the high-tech technology with the new results in this technology. After an enticing day of exploration through the city, I've come to Shirdze Street in Laocheng District of Luoyang for a final culinary treat. The various soups, whether served as street food for a late night snack or tasted at the historic and exuberant water banquet, have once again stolen the show and will surely haunt my taste buds for years to come. What a memorable way to end my blissful journey here in Luoyang.
We've seen things from the first dynasty in China to now. Luoyang is forging ahead with innovation in manufacturing and so much more. I can really feel the pride the hardworking people of Luoyang have for the past, the present, and the future.